Hi, my name is Roy Harris, and on today's tip of the day, I'd like to show you how to correctly use posture number one from the bottom of the side mount. Let's take a look. Robert, please. So when you place the top forearm underneath the training partner's neck, I want you to get in the habit of placing the lower third of the forearm close to the elbow under the neck. Additionally, I want you to take your hand and get in the habit of cupping or grabbing the, uh, the gi and uh, not making your arm vulnerable or susceptible to the Americana. This is an important detail because I see many students make the mistake of putting the upper third of the forearm on the neck and then the arm gets crushed and then they have to deal with the individual's weight on top of them. So crush my arm please. Yes. A simple crush by lowering the body weight and tensing up the neck muscles makes the, this form of posture ineffective. So make sure and put the lower third there and then grab the cloth. Would you crush this place? Not happening. One more thing, let's turn a little bit to the side. To make sure that this does not get crushed, I want you to take your right elbow and push it out and away from your body. This pushes their chest away from, I'm sorry, their chin away from their chest. Put your weight on me please now. No, it exposes the throat and makes it even more difficult to uh, put the weight on the person. Thank you. So, when you do this form of posture from the bottom of the side mount, make sure you position your arm correctly.